Okay, so I want to address an issue that I've seen a lot of people have with the KISS flight controller, uh, not not being a not being recognized in DFU mode on a Windows uh, PC. Uh, this will show the issue. Hold down the boot button, plug it in. We are not recognized in the diffuse demo. So at this point, just need to go to your device manager, find where it says STM32 bootloader. There should be a caution symbol here. Right click, select update driver software, select browse my computer for driver software, select let me pick from a list, then find the STM device in DFU mode and hit next. Sometimes it'll say successful, sometimes it will say unsuccessful. In my experience, either way, it will work. When you go back in, you'll notice it no longer has the caution symbol. I'm going to minimize that. Now you see that we are in DFU mode. I'm going to select my firmware, KISS FC 1.2. Now usually, in my experience, uh, it will crash diffuse the first time, I don't know why. Let's see what happens. Nothing. It's not responding. Go ahead and unplug your flight controller. Close the program. I don't know why, but it's done this on every Windows computer that I've tried. Um, I don't know. It's a pretty consistent little issue, but anyway, it always works the second time. So hold down our boot button again, plug it in, we get our device. I always click verify after download, select firmware, upgrade. Also notice I'm not holding down the boot button. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of videos and people out there that say you have to hold the boot down, button down the entire time. I've not found that to be the case. Uh, here we are. Target successful. You can quit. Power cycle. Go into the Kiss GUI. Well, it's loading our drivers real quick. Now we're going to activate, and there we go. You can see we have KISS FC 1.2 flashed on the board. Uh, so that's it. I hope that helps some people. Thanks, guys.